I'm going to start yep. shortly. I'm just waiting for me. Well, I'm Bermuda yep. time right now, so I'm going to start short, shortly as people come oh. in. Two more minutes at 7.05. I'm giving people an opportunity before I start the presentation. But just bear with me. We're on Bermuda time, and people tend to, you know, come in from work and, you know, take the time to, you know, get back on the system. So let's just wait for a few minutes. Okay, other people are going to be joining, but because time is... Time's of the essence. I'm going to start the presentation. Hello, Paul. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to say hi, everyone. It, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you on to my Zoom event. For those who do not know me, my name is Italian Susan, and I earn Infinity Travel and Infinity Health and is Immunitech sole distributor in Bermuda and promote its products worldwide. I have a compassion for helping people, face, those, especially those people who have faced challenges physically, mentally, and spiritually. And at the same time, I enjoy planning trips and putting a smile on people's faces. I guess you could say I have the best of both worlds. My life in Christ is paramount, and I do not make a move without prayer and fasting. My mom, as you can see in the first picture, always reminded me to always stay in the Word. And today's scripture is, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prosper. 3 John 2.27. My husband and I, also Peter Souza, also just wants to let you know that we appreciate the support of you joining us this evening. This is Peter. And this is my family, the Sousa family. They say hi to you and welcome. My grandchildren here. So I want to let you know my life in Christ is paramount and I do not make a move without prayer and fasting. The creator of heaven and earth is my own source of strength, peace, and health. He woke me up this morning and gave me my eyes to see, my ears to hear, feet to walk, arms to move, and provide food and shelter. Secondly, my wonderful spiritual husband, as you had saw, is my backbone. He is the beacon of support, care, and love, and a man of integrity, who is, my big, who is also my pillow I could always count on for rest. And my sons, Peter and Justin, and my daughters-in-law, Megan and, and Cordelia, and my grandchildren, Elias, Luca, and Liana, are my joy. These are the ones here. In addition to all of this, I want to just also, I'd be remiss to also let you know that I'm appreciative of our guest speaker this evening, which is um, John Molson. As you can see, John Molson is a world-class athlete, vice president of research and development of Immunitech. John plays a critical role in the inception, design, and management of ongoing clinical trials for Immunical working on a collaborative basis with leading researchers in fields such as oncology, respiratory, medicine, aging, autism, and neuroscience, and mostly recently in athletic performance. He ensures Immunitech's continued leadership position within the nutrition industry. He worked closely with Dr. Gustavo Bonas, a research medical doctor involved. John Soliger, my mentor, who is also best-selling author of Moving Up 2020, is an inspiration to me. He will not allow me to lack anything. He is a great support. He has authored many books and also just received the international award um, from Immunitech. This is the CEO, Mr. Mauricio Dominician, Dominician, who is also the brainchild of Immunitech and is also been the one who's responsible of putting Immunitech together. He is the CEO and development and does all the marketing and research. Okay, how do we, how do we as an individual move into an era of life to help our immune system? Well, the first thing I would suggest is to get the scriptures into your blood and to recognize that you cannot do anything without putting God first. A good diet and hydrate very well. Hydrating is important because water your cells need and if you want to know the formula, if you take your body weight and divide it by two, you'll, get your, you'll know how many ounces of water you should be drinking. 
And that's important because some people are sick, but they're not sick, they're dehydrated. My recommendation is to at least drink at least seven glasses of water a day. Sleep well, exercise, and get some sunlight. Here again, spend time with your family, and of course, do some exercises. And this will help to regenerate the cells and get you back in gear, and you'll, you'll love yourself. You'll love yourself because you're giving yourself something that, that's outside of working 24-7. So spend time with family and get out there and start running on the treadmill. Did you know that five to nine servants a day of vegetables? How many are you getting right now? The food quality today is not as what it used to be. So an apple a day keeps the doctor away. That was in 1952. But I beg to differ and tell you that in 2024, more than 30 apples a day might keep the doctor away. How do we, how do we deal with viruses and diseases? Well, a lot of things are free radical oxidation and they produce oxidative stress. These things come through stress and any situation that you put yourself in, you'll find that a lot of these free radicals, which are actually um, molecules that actually wreak, wreak havoc into your body. You don't want that. And they come from various sources. They come from aging, disease, pollution, and sunlight, and exercise, over-exercising, and breathing. Also, be aware that a lot of things today are causing infections, toxins, and diseases. And as you can read through the slide, these things cause a lot of problems within the body. Cortisol. This is one of my favorite topics because cortisol is a hormone that actually is released into the body when you're under stress. So therefore, when you actually take on stress in abundance, your body actually will produce too much cortisol and it will sit in your blood. And when it sits in your blood, it will send a message to your other organs and, if, and then wreak havoc in those areas. So please, if you recognize cortisol, which is this this thing that we deal, deal with and we live with, and it's okay to have it, but in a, not in abundance because it messes up your metabolism, breaks down your immune function, and you start having behavioral problems. And some, some ailments also cause increased and suppressed immune system, insomnia, and severe mood swings. Yes, when you see somebody that's got a lot of mood swings and depressed, they have a lot of cortisol right into the blood. So that's something that we must all aim to remove from our stressful situations. More adults today need quality of sleep, and deprivation is, is on an all-time high because people are working 24-7. They're not taking time to just put time for themselves, and they're actually doing no justice to their body by not sleeping. And these are things that should not even be in your body, not supposed to be in your body, bacteria. How much bacteria in or on your body do you think you have in weight size? Well, let me tell you, if you want to lose weight, let me tell you how much pounds you can get rid of by just getting rid of some bacteria. Four pounds. It's four pounds of bacteria that should be out of your body. This is not healthy bacteria. This is bad bacteria. So four pounds, if you can just drink hydrate your water, start hydrating and putting yourself in a position of taking care of your immune system, you can get rid of four pounds just by getting rid of the bad bacteria. Also, if you're in close contact with parasites, I recommend that you take your, your, your blankets and sheets and wash them with hot water to get rid of any of these crazy parasites that sometimes have, sometimes comes into your mattresses. How many new viruses we have since COVID-19? SARS, the killer flu. And guess what? The next killer virus is less than two hours playing right away from your destination. So just be on the lookout, be cognizant on your surroundings and be sure to make sure that you take care of yourself. Okay, my next slide is very interesting. It's a, it's a substance called glutathione and it's found predominantly in all of your body but generally speaking, it's more in your liver. And based on this slide here, in view of existing scientific data, all we can expect from the environment is continued pollution, also depletion, increased virulence and infections. These things can have um, a lot of impact on your body if you have low levels of um, glutathione. 
Glutathione is like mentioned earlier, it is formed predominantly in your liver, but it's formed throughout your entire body. And without it, your liver will shrivel and from overwhelming accumulation of toxins. So what is glutathione in its function? It supports cells, it increases sperms, cells, and it breaks on free radicals, which are those little crazy little things that are produced from stress, pollution, and, and the like. And they also help to regenerate vitamin C and E. It also transports mercury out of the brain. A lot of people who have brain fog is because they're gonna build up of mercury. And of course, I can guarantee that they have low levels of glutathione. And glutathione is found in mother's breast milk. And believe you me, it's only available once. <laughs> so that's amazing. Um, okay, so here are the things that you can consider um, that happens when your glutathione levels are actually that are very low. Chronic fatigue, yeah, autoimmune disease, bacterial infection, um, your, your athletic performance goes down, recovery time from physical goes down. So all of these things as a result of low levels of glutathione. And see, these are some of the challenges that people have as well that have been known to recognize that glutathione levels are very low. Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, autism, um, eliminate carcinogens, um, hepatitis, pancreatic problems. I mean, the list just continues to go on. No matter what issue you have in your body, glutathione levels are definitely low given these outcomes. So what do we do? We must keep our levels up to maintain youth and long life. High levels of glutathione, which is referred to as GSH, predicts a long life and health. So who discovered the munical? This Dr. Gonsalvo is very well established. He was the grandfather of glutathione and the immune system. And as you can tell by reading the slide, you can see, the, see his credentials. Also, another co-discoverer of Minical is Dr. Gunshaven. She is well-renowned, Cambridge University McGill, full professor of immunology and independent grants. So she is also part of the Minical um, product line. And Dr. Droge, he was a leading anti-aging redox physiologist. He was the first to describe the effects of glutathione on the immune response of a living organism in 1986 from McGill University, Harvard, and Department Head of Immuno Immunochemistry at the National Cancer Research Center. And nearly 300 plus articles have been written. I mean, this slide here seriously does no justice. It's actually well over 48 published peer reviews that confirms that the Minical um, has been, been very well established and used with cancer um, clinical trials. And it's of course made it in the physician's desk reference. So, if you really think about any, product, any supplement in the market that makes it to the physician desk reference, that is of high integrity and a good support for the body, Immunical. This right here is found in the PD, PD, the physician's desk reference and the CBS, which is Canadian doctor's handbook. This is the Bible. Knowledge and Christ, faith, I thank you for your support and contact Infinity Travel. So uh, what I like to do now is um, I like to call on to Ricardo, if he's on, on board, Ricardo. Yes, if he, I'm gonna just, is it Ricardo? Yes. Ricardo, can everybody hear Ricardo? I'm gonna open up the floor for Ricardo so we can do a testimony of, can you hear me? Yeah. Can anybody, it's Jan Moot, Jan Moot. Hi, Keith, can you unmute Ricardo for me, please? Hi, right, Ricardo. Ricardo, can you hear? Hello? Hey, yeah, can you hear me okay? Yes, thank you so much. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> yes, I'm so sorry. Yeah, but this is a little technical issues. Yeah, but I wanted to just address and just to see how you're doing today, Ricardo. 
Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm doing great. Um, I just wanted to, I guess, give a few brief words on the Immunical Sport. So I've been taking the Immunical Sport for about two years now. Um, I tend to take it as a pre-workout before I go to the gym. And what I've found with that Immunical Sport is that I've got really high energy levels when I go to the gym. Um, it feels like it gives me a bit of, a, of an energy boost, really, um, which helps me push out some additional reps, which is always good. Um, so I feel like after taking that Immunical Sport, I have been able to increase my performance in the gym, um, which obviously I find very, very important. Um, I also feel like the specific taste of the Immunical Sport's really good. I'd say it's probably one of my favorite tasting Immunical products. Um, it has the tart cherry and the beetroot, which gives it that red color. But I do find that, you know, it's got a really nice and kind of subtle taste to it. That's wonderful. Ricardo, actually, tell me about yourself, Ricardo. Um, you're a structure engineer, correct? So your job must be very demanding. Yeah, so, yeah, by trade, I'm a, I'm a structural, a chartered structural engineer. So, yes, I would say it's very demanding on the, the brain, for sure. <laughs> So I can see why you like to, to increase the, the sport because the sport has nitric oxide in it, which actually helps to dilate your blood vessels and to give you that boost of energy. So um, it is very important for people who are athletes and also anyone that is just under a lot of overwhelming mental stress. So I can see why you like that. So um, how was your day today? Yeah, it was, uh, like you said, it's, it was stressful, but I did actually take an, an immunical, and I feel like, like you said, that does kind of put me on the right track for the, for the most part, for the day. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. Well, you know, I must say, when I was on immunical in 2010, I had to recognize what was, I had to make notes on what took place with me because my eyes kept twitching. And I noticed after taking a week when I was um, taking the platinum, I was actually living living with this twitching for so, so like a couple of months. And then when I realized that after I was taking it for about a couple of days a week, it just stopped twitching. It's just amazing. My eyes just really just stopped it. So I was really thankful that I was able to go ahead and, um, and then hi, John. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Um, you're coming up next. So we have another testimony, which is Christina. So Keith, if you can unmute her, Christina Graham Ward. Christina, hi, good evening. Hi, Christina. Hi, Christy. How are you doing? I'm good. And yourself? Fine, thank you. So Christy actually is um, um, a architect. Okay. What's your history? Tell me about your personal, your personal life, and then we can go into the medical. So what do you do? Uh, it depends on how far you want to go back. I'm just joking. Um, yeah, so uh, my profession is um, architect, designer, uh, project manager, and uh, QS, quantity surveyor. So um different facets within the construction industry. Um, I've been working, I've been operating my business, which is called Brick Birdie, for about a little over 10 years, going into 11 years in October. And I've been working for other firms before that for another, I would say, about five years. So, yeah, that's pretty much my, um, my career, my, my work history. And right. as far as my personal life, uh, when I, I'm just pretty pretty chill for the most part, gardening right. and sports and things like that. So what does Aminical Platinum do for you? And how long have you been on it? So Aminical Platinum, I would say I've probably been on that maybe about four or five years. Mm -hmm. I think I first started the original Aminical, the blue, you first introduced me to that one. I want to say probably 10 years ago. Yeah, it's a great one. <laughs> but the, yeah, but the Platinum I've, I've been on, I want to say maybe four years. And um, that's been great. Um, my, from what I've, my experience in taking that product, it's the overall, um, I'll say immune booster. And just like uh, my overall health has just been consistent. I don't really get sick often, I would say. Uh, and I would like to attribute that to my um, intake of the platinum. I have tried the sport as well, like Ricardo mentioned, uh, when I was doing more physical, when I was in the gym, which I, you know, I'm no longer really doing. But yeah, I'll just say my experience taking the product has been great. Um, I just felt that, you know, I would take it in the morning, first thing when I wake up, and then in the evening time. 
And uh, it was just a great way to kind of, you know, start my day. And then I just felt uh, my performance was at an all time high when I've been taking it. So for the most part, I just say that it's a great product. And um, it, I think it, 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 it has shown that my health has, has yeah, improved. Yeah, improved as a result of taking that product. Yeah. Well, I'm excited that you have stayed on it and you stayed it, you, you continued on it because you are one of my best customers. And I want to thank you for that as well. And thank you for both Ricardo and Christina's testimony. But at this You're time, very welcome. thank you very much. At this time, I want to open up the floor to John Molson, who I had already described as a world-class athlete and vice president of Immunitech. Everybody say hello to John. So, I, we, so John and I will be doing some dialogue and I'm going to question him on some questions on about the product and also about his personal life. So, John, what does it feel like to be a world-class cyclist? Are you still cycling? I still train, and, uh, you know, even though I'm retired, um, I try and live a pro lifestyle every day. Uh, my son is a professional athlete, and, uh, you know, my father was a, a very, very good athlete and could have played, actually, in the NHL many years ago when there was only six teams, but his father disagreed with that. So he ended up buying the team instead. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was exposed to sports at a very early age and uh, I still live that lifestyle. I train probably on average 24 hours a week and my training has changed because now my focus is not trying to win races and time trials, but trying to, be as straight as possible. So I focus on my spine, on mobility, on balance, on motricity, on uh, footwork speed, strength, agility, all these things that, uh, you know, affect how we age. And so I also, if you get within five feet of me, I'll start talking to you about it too and encourage you to work out. So I'm very dangerous. Oh, well, keep talking because I love, I love fitness. <laughs> and it's so funny because I actually bought a bike several years ago, uh, um, one of those fast bikes under this it was a what's it called um it was a name brand bike i bought it in florida i bought two and on my way to the airport one of them actually crashed in the middle of the road so my husband said well that means we can't both ride together <laughs> but it was a, a Cunningham, Cunningham, one of those bikes Cunningham, sure yes i have i have one of those and um i got a little frightened when the wind came but I need to get some proper lessons on how to ride, how to cycle on that. But yeah, it was just amazing. I feel really great, you know, paddling and cycling. It just brings up my adrenaline gland and I feel really relaxed. It's a nice feeling. So I can see why you, you know, your family went in that direction. You know, I, I was very privileged to work with uh, Dr. Wolf Drogue because I never really, when you're young, you don't think of aging and you don't think of, unhealthy aging versus healthy aging, unhealthy brain aging versus healthy brain aging. And working with Dr. Drogue, um, I really got to understand that. And, you know, the, the maxim is the less you do, the less you can do. So, you know, if you look at the way a child moves, there's no restriction. And, you know, the, the way we move gradually becomes more and more restricted over time. And so you have to find out ways to you know, move in in ways that, that keep your ability to move that way. And so, uh, you know, whether it's dance, uh, whether it's different types of uh, martial arts, et cetera, all those things are great for your muscles, but also stimulate your central nervous system, your brain, et cetera. So um, you have to keep stimulating your brain, uh, you know, keep stimulating those things to keep them active. Otherwise, you decline. Oh, wow. That's true, yes. So how long have you been with Immunitech, and what is your role there? Well, um, you know, I was with, uh, I was essentially an owner of uh, Roberts Evergreen with Chuck Roberts, and when we merged with uh, Immunitech, I, um, I was vice president of research and development, so I worked directly with Dr. Bunos from 1996 on. And when we sold the company, uh, we still had a lot of scientific work that I had started. And so, you know, I said to Maurizio, look, you know, it's I've been handling this. I've got to stay on to be able to finish this stuff. And so I stayed on and, you know, things like the, the autism patent, which you saw, 
Yes. We have two other patents in process. Um, there's a number of experimental studies as well as a very important clinical study on the brain that is now completed. Uh, so I'm overseeing those things and is doing that, things like this, talking to your gang. I love that. So, with, Which with is a great people, privilege. And Likewise, likewise. What is the difference between the Minical Regular, Platinum, and the Sport? I mean, some people pose that question because there's three, three products, you know, and it's, sometimes it could become a little difficult in explaining all three. But can you go into a little bit more de detail of what's the difference between these three brands? You know, I, I would, you know, I would focus on the ingredients and, you know, the Immunical, as you know, um, was developed over a long period of time. And, you know, Dr. Bunos, many years ago by accident, found that this particular whey protein exhibited a property that he didn't under, fully understand why it was doing what it was doing. And um, so he was very fortunate that he worked uh, in an environment where Dr. Patricia Kongshavin was there, as well as other scientists that I've actually worked with now that helped him and Dr. Kongshavin understand why Immunical was exerting this very important effect on the immune response. And he used a number of models. So, you know, Immunical, um, from the lab where it was originally produced uh, and then when it became commercially produced, Dr. Bunos traveled all over the United States to try and find a dairy that met his specifications and he found one in Glanbia. And so over the years, uh, we were able to collaborate with the scientists at Glanbia on very specific specifications for Immunical. And, you know, the focus was this glutathione enhancing capacity. And, you know, this is a very, very delicate property. And, you know, commercial whey proteins exhibit vastly different uh, capacities to, to essentially influence this. And uh, so our, the whole focus of Immunitech over the years was to refine this particular process. So Immunical is essentially, you know, an iteration of that original work and you know over a 40-year period it still stands the test of time now when dr bunos uh, retired uh we were very fortunate to get dr wolf drogue who you know as he explained to me he said you know john i had offers from pharmaceutical companies sitting on my desk from all over the world but i came to work at immunitech because I, you know, I wanted to move to Canada, but also because Immunical is something that I was very interested in because, you know, his whole focus was what's called redox physiology. So he uh, was, has been working on glutathione, on cysteine uh, for many, many years. And he looked at Immunical as the optimal way to uh, essentially stabilize glutathione and enhance glutathione over a long period of time. So he, you know, he was an expert in many fields, including in the field of aging. And he knew um, there are many risk factors associated with the aging process that through small amounts of supplementation on a daily basis, you may be able to essentially reduce the risk of developing issues. And so, uh, that's why he developed Immunical Platinum, which contains uh, one ingredient as creatine. And, you know, he, he noticed uh, through his research work that uh, part of the population become insulin resistant as they age. And so this small amount of creatine may help reduce that. In addition, uh, due to dietary changes, people can become more acidic, which is a leading cause or is a cause of osteoporosis. And so the, um, the citric acids in there are meant to help alkalize the body and counteract uh, you know, that uh, acid effect. And um, a few years ago, uh, through our collaborations in sports, which you know I, I started many years ago working with, uh, because I was an athlete, I gave Immunical to my friends, and you know we became more and more involved with uh, sports teams informally. And then uh, through our work with Oracle and uh, Dr. Nathan Lewis, who's on our scientific advisory board and a um, an expert in in sports nutrition. 
we developed the Munical Sport. And essentially, Munical Sport is kind of like the Munical with a turbocharger on it. So there are ingredients in the Munical Sport that uh, improve our blood flow. So, you know, you're not talking about, you know, magnitudes of effect, but small increments of effect. And, you know, the way to think about how these products uh, impact you and the way I explain it to physicians, coaches, et cetera, it's the very small changes that compound over time. And so if you can make very small changes in performance and recovery in a professional athlete, you know, over the course of six months, those very small changes become very big changes, uh, you know, because 1% at the professional level is huge. And, um, it, you know, it was said by Nike Oregon Track Club uh, coach who uh, we worked with through Oracle. And, you know, I'm these people at Nike Oregon Track Club, you're talking about Olympic gold medalists, you know, the top athletes in the United States. He said, you know, sports at our level comes down to uh, a 1% difference. And we feel that Immunical gives us that 1%. So, you know, I would I when I explain it and you know you look at the uses, focus on the ingredients because those ingredients are in there for specific reasons. Yes, actually it's interesting you'll say that because I actually found a study where Immunical was given to um some elderly um elderly um clients, um patients, and one of them was taking medication and she went to the doctor and she asked the doctor if she could take Immunical platinum, you know, while taking this product for her burns. And he says, well, if it's a natural supplement, it shouldn't have any impact. Just take it over about an hour away from her medication. So during the study, she came back and they had to do a burn scan. And they found out of the three women that were on this medication, she was the only one that was able to actually increase her um, burn, more burn mass. That was, that was amazing. That was really amazing. So I was interested in that. So what is the minimum and maximum age of ingested in Minical? What will be the minimum age that one can have? And which one would you see? You know, after a woman is finished breastfeeding, you can start, uh, you can supplement the child. I, I gave it to my kids from a very early age. Wow. And um, uh, you're, t you're talking about the maximum age as well? Yes, that's correct. Yeah, any age. You know, it's... Uh, the, 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 the important thing is like exercise. You know, you're... As I mentioned, your body adapts to the environment you create and the environment you live in. And that's why we're on this earth is because, you know, um, glutathione or the glutathione antioxidant system is one of the principal mechanisms that allows us to adapt to our environment, you know, both good influences and bad influences. So um, taking it over time you know, makes us more resilient to some of the negative things that may influence us. And, you know, probably the biggest one there is pollution and the effects of pollution that we see. And, you know, pollution is everywhere. And you you, you look at the, the new uh, research on, you know, plastics in the environment and, you know, the, how plastics get into our system, um, some of the air pollution uh, that gets into our system as well. So these things are, you know, uh, the, the way the, the literature that I read, you know, is that and the weakness with testing is these things are tested individually in the lab, but in the environment, they all mix together. And so you have, uh, you know, many unwanted results uh, because of that. Interesting. You know, I, 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 I can believe that because the free radicals from stress and pollution, they, they really do harm to the body. So like you mentioned, the Minical will be able to boost the immune system and help to sort of eradicate some of the stresses that the body takes on from outside forces. Very well said. Can you take Minical if you have a milk allergy and does it cause bloating? And what does it mean by under nature? Yeah, so um, if you have a milk protein allergy, probably not. But if you have a lactose allergy, uh, you could take it. And some people do get bloating when they take the product. Uh, you know, everybody's different. And if you sit in an auditorium and give 100 people coffee, you're going to have some people, you know, it perks them up. Some people puts them to sleep. Some people no effect. And so when you do clinical trials, you, you always have variability. So you're going to have always have some people that will have bloating. 
And undenatured essentially means that the, you know, these proteins are preserved in their native conformation or native form to the greatest degree possible. And think of it, you know, when you um, open an egg and you don't cook it, you see the structure of the egg. When you cook it, that structure changes. So you're changing the conformation of those proteins by heating it. And the same thing occurs with whey proteins. Interesting. Wow. Okay. How much immunocal to consume and can you overdose on immunocal? Does it contain any additives or antibiotics? And does vitamin C compete with immunocal? Why don't, why don't you ask me one, one question at a time? Yeah, I know that's quite a bit. Okay. So how much immunocal to consume? Okay. So, you know, all our research um, was done on 20 grams, uh, okay. except, of course, for children, where there's a specific uh, uh, dose formula for children. So 20 grams, uh, you know, the standard dose per day is 10 grams. And the key is, is to take it day in, day out, and not, you know, three months and then three months off. Um, as you well know, you know, cancer cells uh, and all these viruses don't take a day off. You know, they're around us all the time, so you can't afford it. Can you overdose on immunocal? You know, Dr. Drogue said to me something very interesting. He said, you know, everything in nature is a poison depending on the dose. Mm -hmm. So that's very profound when you think about it. But it does make the poison. So theoretically, of course, you know, so... Yeah, that's you good. don't want to take too much. Yeah. Everything in moderation, as one would say. Yeah. Does it contain any additives or antibiotics? Immunocal does not. Okay. Does vitamin C compete with immunocal? Vitamin C? Does it, does it have any? No, it does not. You know, the, as Dr. Bunos explained, you know, the glutathione antioxidant system is the principal antioxidant system in the body. And vitamin C and vitamin E form part of that. So when vitamin C donates a hydrogen molecule, it's glutathione that reconstitutes vitamin C. So the, the other tenant that Dr. Drogue explained to me, he says, you know, that um, what you want uh, ideally in the cell is a, an equilibrium where you have a balance between free radical production and free radical clearance. So an excess of either is not good. So, you know, th there's many things in Chinese medicine where they talk about the yin and the yang and balance, etc. Well, there's some truth to that. And so the same thing here is that you want to have an equilibrium, just like with your diet, you know, you need a diversity of different proteins, fruits and legumes. And the same thing with regard to Oxidants and antioxidants, you need an equilibrium. Great. What are your success rates with all brands of Immunical and how long can one stay on this product? I guess I put this as public. Yeah, question. well, the company's, you know, still in business. So I think that it's probably pretty good. And, uh, you know, the we've been publishing um, scientific and clinical research over a 40 year period. So that's like giving Immunical a final exam every year when we, you know, we do those studies because, um, you know, we, we live and die by that data. And we've shown consistently that the Immunical has performed over the last 40 years. Oh, that's, that, that's, that speaks volumes about this, this product. It really does. And it makes me, that's what makes me feel excited about share, sharing the knowledge with people so they can see that there's something out in this world that can help to detox and to help their body to offset a lot of these pathogens. Um, can pregnant women take a minical during, after, or with breastfeeding? I want to know that as well. Okay, when, the first question was, can pregnant women take a minical? Yeah. pregnancy after and breastfeeding. Is it all three Yes, days? yes, regular minical. And, you know, it's really, again, really interesting. If you look at the scientific literature on pregnancies in women living in polluted environments, it's actually this pollution gets to the fetus. And so, um, you know, ideally, and uh, I would definitely recommend uh, pregnant women take Immunical. Well, you know, that is so amazing because when you look at supplements, 
or any type of product, it's always check with your doctor or, you know, if you're pregnant, but this product yeah. can actually override that because it's, that's how good it is. And I, that's just amazing. That, that tells me that this is top of the line, you know, product that's good for the body. Can you explain the scientific literature and peer review success? Yeah, you know, when, when we formed this company with Dr. Bunos and Dieter Beer, you know, I found genius and I didn't have to change anything. And the, the whole way that Dr. Bunos uh, went about looking at questions was through the scientific method. And the scientific method is such that, you know, you have a hypothesis mm -hmm. and you test that hypothesis. And so when you set up these studies, is it essentially you're asking a question to Immunical and you have to make sure that you're asking the right question because Immunical works a certain way. It doesn't work the same way, you know, for instance, that aspirin does or our medication does. It works in a very particular way, so you have to ask the right question in the right patient population. And so what you do is uh, essentially, um, you know, we, we want to answer certain questions. We find a professor or research scientist at um, an institution like McGill who's interested in that field of study and... Uh, Together, we come up with a protocol which essentially outlines everything about the clinical study you're going to do or everything about the scientific study you're going to do from A to Z. And that if it's a clinical study and if you're working in laboratory animals, it has to go through all these different review boards, safety boards, et cetera. And once uh, you run the study, uh, you get the data and... Uh, we don't we don't get the data the data is given to an independent statistician or the professor has you know his own statistician they generate the data and based on what the data says they write a paper um and then they submit that paper to a journal now very often that journal doesn't accept the paper so you have to go from journal to journal or they ask you to rewrite certain sections because they have what are called peer reviews in those journals. And so they get other scientists who are interested in the subjects of this journal to review the paper and they're extremely critical. And so, you know, it's like uh, you do all this work and there's no guarantee you get the paper published. And so there's uh, journals out there that are, you know, very difficult to publish in that don't accept, uh, you know, certain um, research uh, subjects. And so it can be a long process getting a paper published. I mean, one of our papers, I think we went to probably like five journals. Uh, and sometimes these guys, you know, they're busy and they just sit on the paper for a month, two months. And so like publishing a paper can take a year and a half sometimes. So you have to have a lot of patience. Definitely. Interesting. What is the difference between a Munical way versus whey font and other brands. There's so much whey product out in, in the market today. What's the difference between Immunical's and other people's whey products? You know, th there's many different types of whey protein on the market and many different ways to produce it. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, Dr. Bunos, uh, when we started the company many years ago, he went around and visited a number of different dairies and found that Glanbia, their production process, met with the specs that uh, you know he had in mind when developing a commercial product. So the specifications in terms of the production process, the cows, the way the cows are fed, et cetera, all met with his specifications. So Immunical is produced uh, to maximize this glutathione enhancing property, whereas other companies, you know, produce products for uh, cake mixes, for um, uh, bodybuilder supplements, et cetera, you know, where there's their focus is on the protein content, et cetera. But everything that, you know, that goes into producing Immunical in terms of, you know, the proteins we look at, the concentrations of those proteins, 
is designed to maximize that glutathione enhancing property. And you know, this is not something, you know, that, um, that was, was available. I mean, this is something that Dr. Bunos had to learn and, you know, that's, so we have 40 years of kind of intellectual property that uh, we've developed where, you know, we can collaborate with the dairy and coach the dairy on, this is what we're looking for. Whereas other companies just, you know, they, they phone the dairy up and uh, they get supplied a product and they don't really know, you know, very much about that product. And they, they add different ingredients in it and then they go and sell it. Very interesting. Yeah, well, I would, I would want some clean whey products. I wouldn't want anything that's, that's, you know, not really tested. Because my next question would be, um, is Immunical product therapy tested? And do they have scientific reviews on human studies instead of animal studies? I think you probably already probably answered some of that earlier. But is it their podcast? Yeah. yeah. So um, when we informally were involved in, in sports, and that's probably, you know, back in 2010, we we're working with Dr. Nathan Lewis. Uh, and he wanted to get a Munical. He was with the English Institute of Sport. And he wanted to get a Munical uh, for his sailors. So these are Olympic sailors. And before we would send any, uh, we had to have the product tested. So we started doing testing uh, on the product um, back then. And eventually, you know, we became more formalized. And with Sport, Platinum, and Munical, all those products are now tested before they're given to athletes. In addition to that, um, there have been uh, universities that have, uh, on their own volition, ordered a Munical and tested it in laboratory animals uh, without us knowing. And, you know, all of a sudden a paper shows up and, uh, you know, we, we see that a Munical was used in a particular experiment. So um, we've funded testing, but you, you have to understand that when you, when you fund the testing, uh, you know, this is not um, where we send it to, uh, you know, a lab for hire, uh, like many companies do. This is, we're going to academic institutions where, you know, that data is going to get published and you have an independent statistician looking at that. So you, you can't uh, fudge the data uh, when you're working like that. You can if you're, you know, there's, there's, many dishonest people out there and dishonest doctors, dishonest scientists that will set up something and fudge the data just to, you know, prove a point. But, you know, if you look at the people that we've collaborated with, uh, and these people have published many, many articles, the reputation is very important to them. And, you know, these are the institutions that we're working with are leading institutions. And so, you know, we, we can stand on the data that we, we publish. Very, very impressive. What makes your glutathione part stand out from the rest of the market? Well, I, I would say, you know, that's we have a 40 year head start on many of these companies and, you know, that that accumulated wisdom and knowledge. Um, all the testing we've done, all that experience, uh, you know, whether you're talking about the work in performance, uh, the work on the brain that we've uh, we started, uh, you know, the work on autism, et cetera. We have a lot of knowledge now uh, about the product and, you know, we apply that to making sure that uh, we put out the best product possible. That's very impressive. Yeah, I know that the brain study is just um, um, phenomenal with, with the success rates of people that have different dis disorders in the brain. Well, yeah. since, since we're talking about it, I'll, I'll let you in on a secret, okay? But uh, don't... Don't, Don't tell, tell anybody beyond this call, okay? Okay, okay you guys are privileged. <laughs> so um, the, the, the population we're studying are mild cognitive impairment. And so about 50% of the population goes on to develop Alzheimer's. And so, you know, MCI kind of falls under the umbrella of unhealthy brain aging. And so... Um, What's interesting is um, 
about well back in November, we started looking through the data of the study. You know, so we set the study up at McGill through the Montreal Jewish Hospital in their memory clinic in conjunction with the Montreal Neuro. And uh, so the neuropsych, uh, part of what we did was we analyzed the brains of all these people uh, through imaging, but also they had to, they, like, you know, like in the autism study, they had to go through and answer all these standardized tests to look to see if there's any changes in behavior, memory, et cetera. And the neuropsych guy said to me, as well as the neurologist, who's the PI in the study, the principal investigator, he says, you know, once you have that diagnosis, you never improve. And so once you're on that trajectory, it's a, you know, it's a steady slope downhill. And I'll tell you that uh, the Immunical group improved in some aspects of that uh, brain performance. And so, you know, the, 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 the way you have to consider that is, um, you know, there's very few absolutes uh, in medicine and very few wins in medicine. You know, you're talking about getting 5% here, 6% there, 7% there, a 10% gain here. Uh, so the fact that we were able to change the trajectory on, on these patients is very important. And uh, so that's, that's going to be coming out probably within the next year. So you gave us some um, a head start on this. This is thank you so much. This is great. This is great news. If you can't tell anybody, no, but guys, just keep that between yourselves, okay? Okay. But there's a lot of lot of brain disorders around, and this, this is uh, Italian. Just make sure Keith Hooper doesn't tell anybody, okay? Keith, because he's been known to tell a tale. I know, Keith. Especially Keith, when he gets a drink in his hand. Keith, you got to keep promise. Also, with, with talking about drink, alcoholics um, have benefited from Immunical, correct? They said it, um, it helps a lot. So I'm sure Keith is, you know, he's doing all right. Keith, Keith, Keith don't drink that. But yeah, but that's nice. I'm, I'm glad that worked out with, with people who have brain disorders. Um, how does the manufacture of the Munical differ from other whey proteins? And what, are, what is the ingredients of this? Of the, yeah, it's, uh, it's whey protein. So as I mentioned earlier, you know, the focus is on, there's many different components um, to whey protein in milk. You know, there was a, a group in London that looked at milk and identified over 200 peptides in milk. Um, so there's many different fractions. And it's the synergy between these fractions that uh, provides the effect. Uh, so understanding the particular ratio of these fractions, which fractions is, you know, what, we, what we've learned over time. Interesting. Can excess glutathione, perhaps over 3,000 milligrams, cause complications such as abdominal cramps, trouble breathing, and severely allergic reactions such as whitening of the skin? Are you aware of any? That's a, that's a, you know, the, the, again, you know, the, the, there are all these questions about um, the delivery system. Uh -huh. And the model for Dr. Bunos is what happens in nature. And the beauty about Immunical, Immunical is physiologic. So Immunical, his inspiration was mammalian milk. And mammalian milk is the essential food for all mammalian neonates. And the primary component in mammalian milk is whey protein. So mm -hmm. those key whey proteins, you know, also exist in human milk. And, you know, you don't see glutathione in mammalian milk uh, in, in any species. You see protein that's broken down into its constituent amino acids, et cetera. And so the, what he found was this is the best delivery system to increase glutathione. Now there are, uh, you know, different methodologies to increase glutathione. Um, and those can be used in situations where you need an immediate spike in glutathione. You know, as Dr. Gutman talks about, if somebody peers in the emergency room, you need to boost their glutathione right away if they're coming in for an overdose. So Immunical wouldn't work, but you know, the uh, taking oral glutathione, probably 95% of it doesn't survive, you know, the digestive tract and absorption. So uh, these are things you're, you know, you're essentially wasting your money. And then, you know, you're taking those kinds of doses, which is a very, very high dose you're going to run into those kinds of problems. 
Yeah, so there's a lot of glutathione tablets on the market, so they don't pro provide the delivery process, correct? You're saying no, that? it's it's not uh, it's not physiologic. So it's you know it doesn't survive digestion absorption, and most of it uh, goes out, and mm -hmm. you know the body's not equipped uh, to take that. It's I guess not the ideal. It's not the ideal way to do it. I know. I guess because glutathione is now becoming a household name, and people just think when they hear the name and they go into a health shop and see glutathione tablets, they get excited because there's so much literature of the benefits of having glutathione in your body because you make it, but they're not understanding what the product is actually made of. And well, that's where you, you know you you get uh, corrupt people that uh, will take advantage of something like that and you know send them down the wrong road with the wrong information, and they don't care. You know, they're lying their pockets, and then they don't give a hoot about their customers. Exactly. What are the benefits of taking the Munical daily? What are the benefits? Well, as I mentioned, uh, you know, the uh, all these different factors in our environment, um, there's, there's probably, since World War II, 100,000 new chemicals in the environment. And, uh, you know, many of these chemicals combine. And the reason you're seeing, you know, increases in things like cancers, increases in thyroid problems, uh, hormonal problems, is, uh, you know, diabetes, partly due to the environment. And so Immunical by boosting glutathione plays a critical role in making you more resilient to adapt to this new environment. You know, the environment is faster, is changing faster than evolution is changing us. And, you know, I learned these things because uh, the, the university where we did the work in autism, you know, these kids, because they have a glutathione deficiency, are very sensitive to toxins in the environment. So I had extended discussions with these scientists down there, and they talked about that. And this was you know, actually the immune system, this was Dr. Bunos's favorite subject. So we talked, uh, and I read extensively on this, you know, kids that grow up uh, close to intersections where you have a high volume of traffic, their risk for cancers, for lung diseases goes way up versus the normal children. So, you know, these are all things that um, um, you have to take into account and consuming the product over time gives you a greater capacity to deal with these things. What is the best method of, of what's the best me method to mix all brands of Minical? Can I use water, juice, yogurt, or milk? What's the best me method of mixing in Minical? You know, that's uh, the, um, that really depends on your customer. So for instance, I put it in my cereal after training. Uh, you can put it in cereal and yogurt, uh, in juice and chocolate milk. It really depends on the customer. It's interesting. For many, many years, I've been adding, putting water or juice in my cup. But like you said, lately, I've been putting in my oatmeal cereal, just turning it around, you know, with my, I mix it with yogurt, oatmeal, and my munical, and it's so delicious. Like, I just... Yeah. It's, it's I hope the oatmeal is not hot. No, no, because I know the heat will destroy the enzymes. So I'm very, very much aware of that. Because yeah. I don't want to... I don't want it to, I know those enzymes are very sensitive, so no, I don't put no heat to it. And I also try to acknowledge with people that they shouldn't put it in a blender because it would destroy everything. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, how does the Medical work with people who are underweight? Can one gain weight? Yeah, that's an interesting question because it depends on why they're underweight. Uh, you know, you can be underweight for many reasons. Uh, you can have catabolic weight loss, you can have an infection, uh, you can have uh, stomach problems, Crohn's disease. So it really depends on why. But if you have catabolic weight loss, and we studied this in stage four cancer patients, and Dr. Drogue was actually the first to identify what's called the Drogue syndrome. So this is weight loss where you lose muscle mass uh, associated with the disease, disease process. And, and in unhealthy aging, you also have loss of muscle mass, so specifically in the legs. And so, um, you know, in those cases, uh, certainly Immunical can help put on muscle mass. The last question, 
And uh, how does Aminica work with people who are overweight? Can one lose weight? That's the last question for the day. Yeah, well, so Aminical, I mean, it's 40 calories per pack. And so it's all about, you know, caloric intake versus output. So reduce your caloric intake and increase your output. Well, at this time, Joel, we thank you very, very much for taking the time to come on the Zoom meeting and for my customers and new customers for explaining the importance of Aminical and Glutathione. Thank you so, so much, and you have a very good evening. I know you have lots to do, but I want to thank you for your time. Thank you, Keith, for being the host of Run of This, because there are times with me with Zoom, I am not always on it. So, Keith, thank you so much. John, I know he's in the backdrop, but I want to thank him as well um, for being my mentor and being a part of what I do for Minical and Minitech. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to close this meeting. And if you should need any product, you know how to get a hold of me. Or email, if you have any questions, you can email me at isousa, I-S-O-U-S-A, at infinity-bda.com. Thank you very, very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Thank you, Italian. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Keith.